Qualifications from the Institute of Commercial Management have been offered in Namibia for several years now, which brings the question to mind, why is the Namibian Qualifications Authority only reacting now? The NQA attributes their decision to a recent change in regulations in the UK. They came up with different or new regulations, of which of qual uh, ICM has indicated they don't want to be regulated they're under and would rather focus on the international market. NQA only recognizes regulated qualifications and that's where the, uh, we have reached the levels of uncertainty. However, the authority says people who have studied and those who are currently studying ICM-related courses up until the end of this year will not be affected by the new developments. The quality of the ICM qualifications have also come under scrutiny. This can potentially make persons who already have these qualifications vulnerable to discrimination by potential employers. It would be very unfortunate that after the NQA has expressed itself that it will recognize the qualifications after due diligence that there would be discrimination. My appeal would be treat these 2,000 students the same as with anyone with an evaluation report from the NQ. The colleges that currently offer these courses are ILSA, Ondangwa Commercial, Katutura Community, Monitronics and Triumphant. Kuda Brandt reporting for the news on one.